Season 2 of The Traitors US finally launched over the weekend, giving fans their first taste of the deceptive game since February last year. The new celebrity cast for Alan Cummings' show now features a number of reality shows from both the US and the UK, where the show originated, but one surprising entrant was former British politician John Burko. The disgraced Speaker of the House of Commons made his first foray into American television on Sunday, but received an abysmal reception from viewers, many of whom branded the politician a nobody on TikTok. Many only referred to John as some politician, adding that before the traitors US they had never heard of him or seen him in my life. Another shared some North American comparisons, writing on X, because there's an ex-UK politician on hashtag traitors US, John Burko. Could you imagine Trudeau and Trump on it? Those that did have some knowledge of the 60-year-old also didn't have any kind words for him, instead dubbing him, mean, and a, bully, and sharing the allegations that put him on administrative suspension during his time in Parliament in the UK. John served as a speaker in British Parliament for a decade, with some snarky quips and memeable moments going viral online and earning him some public recognition before his fall from grace in 2022. However, there is a small group of viewers growing in John's favor, as one American fan asked their UK counterparts on X, is John Burko an OK politician because I really like him on The Traitors. Unknown to the other contestants, John is a faithful in the show meaning he has the risk of being murdered by one of the traitors, Big Brother's Dan Giesling and married to Medicine's Phaedra Parks. However, John is already suspected of being a traitor by his fellow players after he revealed he had mild asthma before showing off his sprinting skills, which Real Housewives star Tamra Judge brutally grilled him about. In one of his first appearances on the show, John insinuated that he may be the most well-prepared contestant for the Game of Lies, saying, I'm a retired politician. Backstabbing and deception are all part and parcel of political life.